Hi, welcome to my talk. Welcome to today's talk. This is Alain Uwasa Kaliba, and we are in Money Talk. Today, we are going to break down why you might not get hired. You know, like uh, you have been struggling somehow to get hired, and you are a graduate, fresh graduate, or you are still a student, but yet you haven't been really having the chance to get a job. Let's see what might be holding you back. Stay if you're new to this uh, to Money Talk. You're welcome. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Did you know that so many people don't get hired because they don't have a CV? Well, what does it mean not to have a CV? It happens that you are a fresh graduate. You are you are you just graduated, or maybe you are still a student. But in your CV, you just have a oh, couple of things more like uh, high school <laughs> very funny because here the way we started to, to kind of write our cv when we were still in high school it was very funny because we would like put on the primary the high school and so on and then you have all of those you know the name of your dad the name of your mom and <laughs> then you have a couple of schools that you did and that's all you have on your cv that's not a CV which is going to get you hired and it's not even a CV which get you, which can get you an internship. So CV which get you hired, it's a CV which is more professional, you know, a CV which is going to give the description of course who you are, uh, really no need to add your parents and your blah blah, you know, some unnecessary information. The necessary information are more like the skills you have, are more like uh, some of the short courses you take. Uh, mostly about the experience you have and that's what I want us to be talking about so your CV to work on your CV you need to find something to do in meantime let me tell you how I did it I went out there and I found organization then I started volunteering that's what I did yes and I volunteered for like two years then at the same time I was doing different internship you know and because as I volunteer, you know, something was being added on my CV, you know, I have experience, let's say like in mentorship, I have experience working, let's say with this different organization, I was volunteering in a tech company and I was maybe doing something like graphic designs for them, or maybe I was doing, I was doing the paperwork, most of the paperwork for them, I was either doing communication, managing the social media for them, I do that, and if I know how to open my Facebook, I can maybe volunteer uh, in a small business organization, then open for them my Facebook, then as I learn, I keep doing it, and then I, at least I have that experience that I know how to do the social media management, you know, so that's how you do it, you start by volunteering, that's how you end up really having some experience for yourself, for the market, but at the same time having the experience to be able to update on your CV. So that's how you do it. Basically, you go out there and find something to do, useful, with some kind of companies, some kind of logos, so that by the time you are finding a job, you can add all of those information on your CV. With those kind of names which are out there, those kind of logos which are out there, if they have websites, it's even good, then you can have open references. You go out there, volunteer, do different internship, not even yet professional internship, you know, start, start something small, you know, like start small, then grow from there. But don't sit down home, then do nothing. You know, because uh, staying home or doing nothing, you know, really not doing anything at all, is not going to help your CV at all. And uh, if you if you are going to be looking for a job, so if there are things you need, you need your CV, and then you need that later. But mostly you need your CV, and you need your CV to have really some activities you've been doing. So let me guess, you are a fresh graduate, you are a student, or you are. You know, you have been kind of figuring out, so, but so for for this last year, you know, this 2020, what did you add on your CV? That is a question I'm asking you. And please comment down below, then leave your comment, let's see what you did. And congratulations for you if you think so much your ideas. And for you who doesn't have much, let's discuss. You know, lacking creativity, you know, critical thinking, lacking the being open mind about work, about taking, the, you know, like uh, juggling around until you find a solution, it might not help you into some work. So if you're really not good in, you know, like being out there and actually think big or maybe think different or maybe find creative ideas, talk with people, trying out different things. If it's about sales, if it's about marketing, really trying to come up with different ways of doing, which might help you to 
bring something new to the next level or maybe bring something new on the table if you lack that you might lose some some jobs or if you don't have that you might get you might not get some jobs especially let's say if you work in marketing have you seen that in a lot of corporation here when you see in the way they do the marketing they are they're mostly doing the old ways you know like the traditional ways and marketing is something which evolves as technology evolves marketing is something which evolves as time goes by and let's say yes you have a master degree in marketing maybe you you graduated and then you have your experience which means that you graduated like 10, 15 years ago, by the time there was no Twitter, by the time there was no Instagram, by the time there was no, no YouTube, by the time there was nothing like that, you know, and you keep missing this creativity, you keep missing connecting the traditional way to the new way, or maybe you don't even care at all, you know, this might lead you in losing a job for someone younger, so who can bring on table all also those small creativity or maybe just bring someone who's willing to try different things or like new things so like go there and, and think you know like one of the way i do that uh when i think i need some new ideas and so on i do a long walk and i, I do walk in a place that i like you know which kind of inspires me and by spending time there looking at things like really trying to think trying to connect the dots what i've been seeing and connect them with the research i've been doing asking different questions at the same time that helps me to come up with something like a new way of doing you know so teach your mind to think of something new you know do the research read be curious mm -hmm. ask people because that is the way you are going to have a creative mind that's the way you're going easily to acquire new ideas because if you don't have a way to do that either you lose a client either you lose a job or you don't get hired because someone else is doing it someone else is doing their homework and if you're not doing your homework you're going to miss that job you're going to miss that opportunity or you are not going to be recognized at all because someone else is doing better so do your homework go out there and such support your mind on thinking critically support your mind on being creative by doing more research as i mentioned uh, by asking questions but also by going out there and, and dig in your head you know dig in your head and really come up with something new and try to help your mind to think quicker to think something great quicker and so on. you know those are things we train our mind to tell you the truth I'm not sure I, I believe in genius, you know, in someone being a genius, you know, like some people was born genius, others not, you know. I think everything is a matter of practice. If you practice, I think you will get better. Some people are super lazy, you know, and uh, here I'm going to talk about generally when you are already at work. It may happen that you don't necessarily do this kind of professional work where you are in an office, you're working for a company. Sometimes you might do, you might be doing some technical work it can be electrical, it can be uh, plumbing, it can be, can be mechanical, it can be really anything. And when you're out there working with the others, you spend most, most of the time talking, you know. There are people who have those kind of jobs where they, they kind of do it while they're talking and they don't realize that most of the time they was just talking than doing anything else. So let me give you like, um, like a small hint. When you are working with people and you spend most of your time of either talking or not really contributing as much as they do, they get tired of you. And if and, and it happens that they report you, you know, they report you to 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 the supervisor, to the manager and so on. Or maybe you are working for someone who will not report you but who will fire you, you know. So I know really in our generation today there is a way we think we are doing everything but actually we are spending most of the time talking on social media and so on you know it happens that I, ha I have the opportunity to discuss with different like business owners and then they tell you sometimes that they have challenges with customer services and then I say like why you have young people who are motivated who can do that and I say like uh, the problem is they spend their time on their phones, either on WhatsApp, on Instagram, taking selfies and so on at work. That is the same as spending your time just talking, doing, pretending to be doing something, but actually you're just talking, catching up, or taking selfies uh, on social media, blah, blah, blah. You know, 
that is as, as, as much as laziness, you know, that's how I say it. Because if you are really committed to your work, you should sit down and do it. And maybe in break, do your things, you know, during short breaks or maybe during lunch breaks or maybe after work, go on, go on your social media, talk with your friends, do whatever, you know. But if you are at work, just respect someone else's work and just focus on that, you know. So, if you are lazy, people will intend to push you away, they will intend to fire you, they will not hire you for the next time. And you might not even recognize that you are being lazy, that you are doing their less than the others. Let me tell you something, if you spend most of your time just talking at work or maybe just on social media taking selfies or it's at work, it's during the work, there is, that is as much as laziness really. And, uh, and uh, most of the time, if you don't have a clear goal of your career, of your business, that is going to happen very often, you know, that you're really spending time where you wasn't supposed to be spending time. So the, one of the best way to actually avoid that is to have like a goal. What do you want to achieve? And second of all, it's actually to set like a time for everything. If it's time for work, then just do the work. If it's time for social media, then just do social media. If it's time to sort of catch up with friends, talking and so on, then do that. Do you, have you heard of something absent mind? You know when we was in high school, it used to happen that... Oh, uh, okay. For you who know me, I'm from Rwanda, you know, and uh, most of our school in high school, we go in boarding schools. Or maybe in university at the same time, where most of the universities, especially like uh, Rwanda University, we go in boarding schools. And it used to happen that in those schools, in later day, we would be like revising our courses. Then someone is staring in one page for like hours, staring in one on one page for hours, you know. Or it happens that uh, uh, it happens that at work, the same thing happens at work when someone is staring at the computer on a single page or maybe on a single item for really really long. So if you're working and you kind of end up losing, you know, like being absent mind, thinking of something else which is not super related to what you're doing, that's something which is going to affect your career and that is something, if you do it often, that's something that uh, if people know you on that, they will fire you or maybe they will not hire you at all, yes. You can actually lose your job because of that. So these things happen a lot that there are so many things happen in your life and you are so carried away by those thoughts that even when you are at work, you are elsewhere. You know, your, your consciousness, it's not here. You know, and I realize actually that in our society, in African society, you know, that thing as conscious, you know, as being present in the moment, I think we need a lot of those kind of trainings, you know, being present in the moment and do and focus on doing exactly what you're doing. So if a lot of time you are absent, maybe you need to work on some of the challenges you have in your personal life. Maybe you need to ask people that they help you how to focus. Maybe you need to practice focus yourself. Maybe you just really have to figure out how you can just be in the moment. And if it's about a job you don't like, rather to maybe find something else to do or maybe to find what you can focus on you know what you like about it that you'd rather focus on so that at least you are really present you are conscious you are right there and you're focusing on the work instead of spending like two hours staring at a document of like 50 pages and uh, let's say you're supposed to get those page to let's say in in those two hours and yet you're still on one page or the second page you know it's not really delivery and sometimes people don't deliver because they are that absent in mind either because life is not easy yes you have some challenges but guess what you need to have time to fix the issues so that you can go back at work and then work on yourself work do what you are supposed to be doing your responsibility at work let me tell you a little secret especially if you work in the department of marketing in the department of sales if you work in department, if you are like an accountant and so on, name it. If you are like a, a manager, you know, don't just do what you was asked to do. Do more, you know, do more. Let me tell you something. We live in the world with billions of people and, uh, and uh, millions of unemployment and uh, millions of businesses and millions of, of really things going around. Ask yourself, how can you be recognized in that massive 
community where people some people are very competitive some people are so great in what they do some people are very talented and some other people are, are, are actually like um, you know they really have bigger visions so there are many many things going on how can you be recognized if you are just part of the average how can you be recognized if you are if you are doing what you are you was only asked to do you know how can someone like realize that you're the person they need if you're not out there to be seen you know think outside of the box you know and and uh, go out there and do more be more try out new things be the first to try those things you know recently tiktok came and, and uh surprisingly i had i, I did this recent uh, blog sort of blog or article and it was about a very young person who's still a teenager probably who should have been at school being the first you like the first popular person using tiktok of course maybe because he's a teenager he do it better but i think there are a lot of creativity out there but you know being one of the let's say like uh, being part of the first people who acquire the technology or who use the technology be one of the first people who try something or maybe do it very different in the way that people never thought of it's going to bring out there to bring you out there and make you very visible and you need you need a lot of that so if you're doing marketing and you know, customer service or now being an accountant being a teller and so on you know do more and show to the people around you that you know more and you are better you know because that's what it is to be competitive you have to be out there and speak for yourself and it's not necessarily about be competing with people around you it's really mostly about competing with yourself you know that i can do more why not showing it all you know like why not showing people that i can do more why not like uh, really applying for this job since i can do more if you are working in a company and there is there is a new position and why not applying and be hired for that new position if you already having more skills on that you know you can really have more than one skill and why not applying for another job you know or for a new position in the same company or maybe something different or maybe be out there and show off yourself so that you can be recognized so that you can get some extra work and the extra work usually mean the extra generation you know the extra salary or the extra income so be out there and, and more or do more than what you are, you are asked be out there show off yourself show what you can do and be out there to compete with yourself you know give the best of yourself thank you so much for watching if you're new again please subscribe comment like and share and for you who have been here thank you so much for staying with us please like comment and share in our next conversation in our next discussion if you're willing to join the money talk you are more than welcome please leave us an email and let's see what we can talk about and thank you so much again for watching i'll see you soon